This particular house we just talked about is one and a half lots. So high likelihood that seven to nine units would get approved on this lot. So once that got passed, our, our dirt was worth about as much as the house, but we had just put $350,000 into this house. So kind of in a, you know, had a decision to make there. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be 58 permits per year for the first five years. And then they're supposed to cascade or remove it. But what we don't know is how is the, how's the county gonna react over the, the 275 that are built? Probably what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a lot of fumbles along the way because people don't, builders don't know how to build them. Engineers don't, are still catching up with the zoning. And so they're leaning heavily on like Minneapolis as a big part. Seattle did this as well, where they did different up zoning. How do you, I was question, like, how do you price it? Because you don't know if you can get the permit. Like, do you get the permit first and then, like, because the land is worth, you could bid a lot more yeah. on the land if you have the permit. 100%, yeah. When, so, like, we had a, we have a client that just sold a lot for 900 and that lot probably is worth a million to a million one now, two weeks later, because of the potential of these being built. If it was a slam dunk permits in hand, you're probably worth one, two, one, three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you're not, you know, it's going to be a risk. And, and most engineers are saying... It, budget 12 to 24 months before you can expect to have plans in him. Oh, I see. So, so it's, it's a exactly. long-term play. 